Hi, again, back on team management. Now we're going to talk about task-oriented leadership. It's a very common type of leadership. You can use it uh, in general project management work, like construction and things like that. Uh, task-oriented leadership is direct to the style of leadership, uh, which is specified the tasks and goals and timelines and everything. Uh, these type of leaders, they provide a step-by-step -step, uh, plan to meet the goals of an organization or the, the, the job in hand. Uh, they are highly goal-oriented uh, task leaders. They, they are focused uh, and they, they objective, uh, they, they have a complete focus on their objectives and specified deadlines. They have to deliver it, they will deliver it, they are usually uh, experiencing that kind of uh, job they are doing. They have to, re they, they're always, they, they, they define the roles for each member of team and they support them in uh, delivering their, as I said, their experience in the work they do. Uh, they, they provide all the facilities, tools and resources and whatever is needed for the job to be done at the right time, in the right place. Uh, and this kind of uh, leadership is focused on achieving the task on time. Uh, going through the strength of a task-oriented leadership, uh, is, it, the, the task-oriented leaders, they clarify the object. It's well clear what we need to do. We have to build this building. Uh, they, uh, they framework the task precisely what should be done, when should be done, when should they start it, when they should finish it. As I said, it's very like a project management job. Uh, they issue exact deadlines and we know and they are clear about when they have to finish the job. And they offer, offer guidance through the whole thing. They are there to help you to deliver it, facilitate it, uh, get resources, get manpower. Now, the the key strength of these carrying on on that is an excellent representative. They, they, they listen to their people, they know the team members, they know their ability, uh, they work with them, they apply a reward system, they, have, they put uh, bonuses there for the job to be done right at the right time, at the right place. Uh, and they will uh, provide a scheme of motivation, being financial or otherwise uh, for completing the job at the right time, uh, right quality and so on. The weaknesses of this uh, kind of leadership is it ignores some of the welfare and happiness of staff because they are highly focused on delivering the job. Uh, they really creativity and ideas and whatever they they won't let these things to develop because as i said very focused on the job and no nonsense sort of situation so uh, being spontaneous and whatever doesn't work on this they they, they, they don't like it uh, and there are a lot less chance of exploring as i said new ideas or stuff to get to know what else they can do because as i said is a a well-tuned machine to deliver. To finish this is uh, every organization have, need task-oriented leadership because we need to deliver. We need sales, development, research and development, production, whatever it is we at the end of the day we can't just sit around and talk about it. Uh, it doesn't mean that everything in the organization needs to be task-oriented but a lot of jobs in every company has to be like that. Uh, the management is most associated with the task-oriented leadership. They, 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 most of the jobs we do in, in the company, we have a deadlines, we have to deliver it at the right time, right quality and so on. So uh, we all get the chance to uh, use different styles when there is a freedom to do it. Uh, finally, the leadership when, when you're using this kind of uh, style, you have to pay attention to the well-being of the staff, the stress management, because it can become very stressful. The 
work and life balance of your staff, uh, you have to pay attention that even if they're willing, they are putting a lot of time into the job, remember they have a life to do as well. I think that brings us to the end of task manager. It was created a lot of notes on the site of your course so you can have a look at that. Bye then.